Tuesday night, we told you about some of the sheriff races happening throughout Central Georgia, two of them being incumbents, David Davis and Terry Deese, winning re-election. Tonight, Kayla Solomon spoke to two of the other winners to find out how they're feeling the day after the election. Tuesday night election results saw some contested sheriff's races, including in Jones County, where Sheriff Butch Reese was elected for an 11th term. If we were in the restaurant business, I would want to be the Chick-fil-A of law enforcement. We, uh, most of the time, we think we can always do better, and that's all of our, always our goal. Reese won with 73% of the vote, and he says he's celebrating the start of another term with his wife. I've been elected uh, all these years, and uh, I still love the job. I uh, look forward to coming to work every day. It's not really a job. Over in Telfair County, current Sheriff Chris Steverson reached his two-term limit, so the two men up for the race were Sim Davidson and Johnny Smith. Davidson beat his opponent with 63% of the vote. It's been a long road. We started in July 2000. 19, I guess, when we, when we started the campaign, and uh, right now I really don't have a lot of time to, to do any kind of leisure activity or celebration. Davidson previously worked with the Georgia Department of Natural Resources for almost 30 years and became a lieutenant with the Telfair County Sheriff's Department after retiring from DNR in 2018. You know, one thing we want to do is, is uh, renew and strengthen partnerships with other law enforcement agencies, pool resources together uh, to you know, help fight crime and drug activity throughout the, the county. Davidson says he looks forward to officially taking office in January. Reporting in Macon, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. Another sheriff's race was in Johnson County where Greg Rowland defeated incumbent Rusty Oxford.